Yer, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we are going to be tuning Vader once again. Um, there's two things that we need to do. So I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not gonna talk you guys' head off with the intro. We're just gonna go ahead and roll that intro, get straight into this banger. So let's just go ahead and do it. saying in the beginning of the video there's two things that we need to do to the car today um one we need to go ahead and flash the correct revision onto the car as you guys may or may not know ever since i replaced these spark plugs on the car i've been riding around on the spicy tune and i'm not gonna lie you know what i'm saying for shits and giggles it's been cool you know the car is hella responsive hella twerky Hell, the throttle is like hella, hella sensitive, and it's just overall fun to drive around in. Um, but as you guys know, I read every single comment. I try to respond to every single one of them, um, whether it be a troll comment or it be a real comment. I read all of them. That being said, one of you guys did comment on the last two videos saying that the car is running extremely lean right now. and. I'm not gonna lie, you're not wrong. And I think it's solely because of the simple fact that the spicy tune is really a tune that's supposed to be put on the car for whenever I'm like running it, running it, or you know what I'm saying? It's not really finalized, to be honest with you guys. Um, this is the tune that the car ran its personal best 6130 time in. And since it ran such a crazy number on this tune, I just deemed it the spicy tune. That being said, y'all, RK has sent me multiple revisions since that tune. So I'm sure if I flash the most current revision, the car is not gonna be running lean anymore and it should be running perfectly fine. Now, if I flash this revision onto the car and it's still running lean, then we obviously have a problem and I need to get a data log sent over to RK. So that's Thing number one. Thing number two, we also need to go ahead and install the kill switch on the car. Now, obviously, I'm not about to sit here and show you guys the installation of the kill switch just because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of a kill switch. But if you guys do not have a kill switch on your car and you have a Camaro, a Mustang, a Charger, whatever the case may be, and you're not running a kill switch, bro, trust me when I say go ahead, spend the money now and just make the investment into your car, bro, because at the end of the day, it's better to be ready than to have to get ready. If you are already ready and you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. So if a situation, you know what I'm saying, does present itself and somebody is trying to steal your vehicle and you've got it armed with a kill switch, at the end of the day, you're probably just going to be paying like $50 in a deductible for the insurance claim of your window that they smashed versus having to deal with an insurance claim for your entire car. You know what I'm saying? So if you haven't already, bro, make sure you get a kill switch for your car, install it on your car, and just be protected, bro, because it's 2024. I ain't going to lie. The streets is hungry. And these dudes is not playing no games, you feel me? So I'm not gonna be one of those people who have to make the post stolen at X location. If you see it, please DM me. I ain't trying to be that. So that being said, we got a kill switch for the car. So let's go ahead and get it installed. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how that works. You know what I'm saying? With it armed, the car not turning on and stuff like that. And then with it disarmed, the car turning on. And then we're also gonna flash the revision onto the car too. Um, I'll probably not be driving the car tonight just because I ain't gonna lie, Houston is mad hot right now. 
12 is everywhere and I really don't feel like dealing with that um, so I'll probably just film a little bit on my way to work tomorrow morning um, that way get a couple pulls in for you guys and see what the AFR is looking like and I'll probably just make that all one vlog so this vlog has a little bit of action into it so you guys got something to watch now that being said y'all I've been rambling for like five minutes let's just go ahead and flash this tune on the car all right you guys as y'all can see we are in the car now sorry for how dark it is the lighting in the garage is already bad as it is and with me vlogging inside of the car it doesn't help at all um but i am about to go ahead plug in my hp tuners device and flash over the revision just to make sure that the car is nice and safe and then we'll go ahead and test out my kill switch um I've already installed it, so we'll go ahead and test it out, see how it's responding, how the car responds to it. And I think I just sold, bro. I came down here without a freaking cord to connect the HB tuners. Is this? No, it's not. Damn, that's so tough. I really came down here without the cord, bro. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. The next day. Yeah. What's good, y'all? So, as y'all seen by the SpongeBob announcer, you did what I'm saying. It is currently the next day. Um, I did go ahead and reach out to my boy RK. Um, I sent him a screenshot of the comments that I was getting um, from one of you guys saying that the car was running mad lean and I had to go ahead and tap in with a tuner and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, y'all, I do read you guys' comments and I try to reply to every single one of them. Um, so that being said, man, when I seen that comment, Bro even went out his way to go comment on an additional video that dropped right before yesterday's video and was like, yo, bro, honestly, like, I, I would get the car checked out, whoop de whoop Now, that's exactly what I did. I reached out to RK, um, and I'll go ahead and put on the screen what my man said. <laughs> so as y'all can see bro bro is like man if your car was running that lean it would have blew up a long time ago trust me um so that being said he did tell me, tell me to go ahead and switch my air fuel ratio from regular afr to lambda um since i am running e85 in the car only you can only tell the true AFR when it's in Lambda while you're running E85. So that being said, bro, we're about to go ahead and swap over to Lambda. And I'm going to show you guys who have the AEM wideband gauge how to switch through the modes. Um, I figure that would definitely be helpful for some of you all who are just now getting one and just now getting into the swing of things. And then also with it being swapped over, I'm going to go ahead drive the car around as y'all can see it's rainy right now so i can't really do any pulls but i will drive the car around partial throttle and just check and make sure that we're reading what we're supposed to be reading you know what i'm saying so that being said y'all let me find a good spot to pull over real quick and we'll get started all right you guys so basically found a good spot to pull over at what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna click on the mode button and you're gonna go to LA and then you're gonna hold select it'll say done and now you're in Lambda so as you guys can see just sitting here at idle we're reading 1.0 Lambda which is okay for idle if I'm not mistaken um, now I'm going to go ahead and kind of just drive around this parking lot a little bit here. Just trying to make sure you guys stay in focus. Just drive around this parking lot a little bit and see what we see, bro. Because honestly, I think the car is running fine. I think it's running smooth. Um, but at the end, sorry, y'all. So the camera got full, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll be grabbing 
all the content possible for you guys, man, to make these banger videos. And my camera ended up getting fooled on me. But as y'all can see, bro, just riding around, partial throttle, barely getting on the gas. Um, I think it's pretty good. Um, you know what I'm saying? I am going to reach out to RK just to see exactly what I should be reading. My bad, y'all. I am going to reach out to RK just to see exactly what I should be reading on my gauge um, at partial throttle and whatnot and just make sure everything's smooth. But I personally think that it's fine. Um, sitting here at idle, it's at 1.0. I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think the car is fine. But at the end of the day, it is a valid concern. And so that being said, I definitely would you know what i'm saying go ahead and make sure that it's solid so that being said y'all i think we're good i'm gonna drive the car around a little bit see what happens if it ends up leaning out or going too wild then i'll go ahead and um reach out to rk send him a log and we'll go from there i actually do need to grab some e85 while i'm at it so I think I think we're good, bro. I think we're solid. I don't think we're gonna have an issue. Um, but I do want to say thank you to bro who dropped that comment and everybody that's been commenting on the vlogs. You know what I'm saying? Staying up to date with all the videos. Oh wow, we got a female driven Camaro. But anyway, um, staying up to date with all the videos and what, man. I appreciate you guys more than y'all know. But I'm gonna go ahead grab some E85 real quick and probably close this video out here. As you guys can see, man, we got Vader right here, getting some of that good old E85. Give y'all a quick little walk around of the whip one time, man, as she's sitting. Just so y'all know, I ain't capped. The road is mad wet, bro, so I can't do no pulls for y'all. But, here we go. Quick little thumbnail. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So, yeah, man. A quick little walk around for y'all. Y'all see it. Y'all see how we stepping, man. I do need to go ahead and get some new tires. If you guys got any recommendations, drop them in the comment section down below. Because these Michelin Pilot 4 S's are not cutting it, bro. I can't lie. So, y'all let me know in the comment section down below what rear tires you guys are running. But, that's going to go ahead and close it out for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Did y'all really think I was going to leave y'all without giving y'all another startup? Come on now. Alright y'all, now the video's over. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.